flickering light of the tavern fire cast dancing shadows across the patrons' faces as Olgath settled into the tale, his voice resonating through the smoky air. Long ago, back when tigers used to smoke and the realm was painted in brighter, fantastical hues, there lived a boy named Aiden. His family had just moved into an old, creaking house nestled deep within a West Sylvanian forest, teeming with secrets. Now where is West Sylvania, I hear you ask? Why out in the mainland, that is, the main realm? With each word, he drew his audience in, and Mortimer the cleric and the enigmatic hunter leaned closer, eager for revelries of a time long past. Aiden had an older sister, Edlin, who filled their home with laughter and mischief. She often invited a friend, Lyra, to play, an ethereal girl with wild curls and a voice that danced and fluttered like the wind. One day, as the sun dipped below the treetops, the trio decided on a game of hide-and-seek. The forest was their canvas, each shadowy nook a potential refuge. A chill whispered through the tavern, as if the ghosts of the tale lingered just beyond the firelight. Olgath continued, Alone together, Aiden and Lera whispered in hushed tones, trapped in the magic of the moment. Where should we hide? She asked. Aiden suggested a mysterious room on the second floor, but she insisted they find something more enchanting. All right then, he said. How about hiding in the cave? He exclaimed, recalling the gaping maw that rested at the forest's edge, cloaked in shadows. The carriage driver's words breathed life into the memory. As they ventured into the depths of that cave, fading sunlight gave way to flickering darkness, and danger slinked in to greet them. Before Aiden could fathom the depth of their folly, Lyra turned upon him her playful facade, peeling back to reveal a predatory hunger. With a swift bite, she sank her teeth into his neck, drawing forth not just blood, but the very essence of his youth. 